What's up YouTube, Tane and 2SS back again with another video. I know it's been quite a while, but I decided to make a video because there have been a number of lawsuits that have been filed against Novor Nordis, which is the manufacturer of Ozempic as well as WeGovy. And in this video, I'm gonna break down what those entails and potentially whether you should be involved in this process or if it's something that you should keep in mind. Let's jump into the video. So if you haven't heard, there have been a number of lawsuits filed against uh, Novo Nordis, which is the no, I'm going to butcher that. Novo Nordis, which is the manufacturer of Ozempic and WeGovy. So most of these lawsuits are centered around what's called gastroparesis, which is essentially stomach paralyzation. Now we were uh, notified of that potential side effect uh, early on. Like you can look at the packaging, you can talk to your doctor. It's essentially how we govy works and uh, Ozempic for that matter. It slows your digestive tract enough to allow you to feel full longer, which causes you to eat less. Now, what these patients have experienced is an extreme gastroparesis where, uh, again, it's essentially stomach paralyzation where they can't move their bowels whatsoever. And it's leading to uh, extreme vomiting, um, nauseousness, dehydration, and a number of other uh, really potentially life-threatening side effects. And one of the lawsuits that I read, a lady experienced so much vomiting that her teeth had started to rot over a period of a year, which is completely insane. Like <laughs> That is a lot of uh, uh, pain and, and, and uh, suffering that that lady had to endure. Um, and we're gonna go over a few of the lawsuits and what they entail. So looking over this website, we're gonna kind of jump into this article. Uh, it says Ozempic lawsuits claim the drug can cause severe gastroparesis, a disorder that stops or slows the movement of food from the stomach to the small intestine. According to the Ozempic lawsuits, the drug's manufacturers never warn the public of risk. Uh, now that I'm not too sure about. Actually, I, for a fact, I know that to be false. Uh, when I was prescribed Ozempic, the very first thing my doctor told me was exactly how the medication works, right? He is like, essentially, this medication slows down your digestive tract, enables you to feel full longer, and you know, stops you from eating as much. So that was that was essentially right off the bat, and then we heard about uh, the potential side effects, um, which is vomiting, <laughs> uh, throwing up, or, you know, throwing up, uh, nauseousness, and like a lot of the the number of risks that you can find um, all over. Right, the 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 side effects have been greatly publicized by now. So I feel like these are things that uh, we've we've kind of known about. Right, we've we've kind of known that. Um, these were these were the side effects, but nonetheless, let's continue. So it says, of August of 2023, Ozempic's lawsuits were still in their early stages, and there have been no global settlements or jury trials. Uh, so essentially, none of it has gone to court yet. Uh, it's just potential lawsuits that are, have been filed and that are on the books. Uh, so it says Jacqueline Borkland became one of the first people to file an Ozempic and a Manjuro gastroparesis lawsuit. Uh, and this was August of 2023. Um, and you can see there was also one in August of 2020. And this one was concerning a higher risk of gallbladder disease and gallstones. And lawyers began accepting Ozempic gallbladder lawsuits. And as we continue reading, it says, so far, there haven't been any Ozempic class action lawsuits to demand refunds of the drug, but lawyers are accepting personal injury lawsuits. This is interesting because it opens up a whole like new world, right? It, you know, anything can be attributed, almost anything can be attributed to using this medication. And I believe these medications are going to be so widely used in fact they're already just skyrocketing right which is uh, you know why the price of <laughs> ozempic uh and and we govy and manjuro why these medications are so expensive actually these medications are so expensive that a number of employer insurance plans have stopped covering the medication because it's been a drain on their system doctors have been prescribing it to just anyone both diabetics and people who are just looking to lose weight. And it's been such a drain on um, this insurance plans that they're cutting it off uh, from a, norm, uh, a number of uh, insurance uh, 
insurance company. So it's it's something that uh, is kind of you're gonna see a lot of these popping up. You're gonna see a lot of these popping up as more people start to use the medication. Uh, a lot pe- a lot of people are gonna say, "Hey, I didn't know about this. I didn't know about these side effects, and now I want to sue." Right? Um, <laughs> and it's one of those things. It's suing is almost the American way, right? Remember when people were suing McDonald's over, you know what was it, apple pie or french fries or something like that. And uh, people sued Tim Hortons because the coffee was too hot. And uh, the American way is to sue uh, over any and everything. But with that being said, uh, if we're for being you know serious about this particular subject, if you take a medication and it does cause you severe damage, like by all means, like, hey, reach out to this manufacturer and say, you know, this is this is what happened to me. Um, I I need to sue for you know damages and whatnot. But what it would do is it will cause the manufacturer to do even more tests to make sure this medication is safe for you know the general population. Even more so than they've already done. Right? They spend millions of dollars on research into this medication uh, and and both how effective it is and side effects and. You know, a, a lot of money is dumped into that research, but if people are having specific problems, they can look into those specific problems and see how the medication can be adjusted to prevent those in the future. So, um, yeah, I just wanted to put that information out there. I didn't know if you guys were aware of the potential or the actual lawsuits that are going on uh, against Novo, Novo Nordis, which is the manufacturer of Ozempic. And we govy. Uh, that might be something that you want to keep a uh, lookout on. Uh, in a future video, probably my next video, I will let you guys know how my journey has been going. Uh, it is actually going to be surprising. So be sure to be on the lookout for that next video. And with that, I'll see you guys in the next one.